Hi, it's Lisa again, and I'm back with another video, and today I bring my long-awaited birthday haul. Yay! You know I'm all about the birthday. All about the birthday, about the birthday. You know I'm all about... Let me stop. <laughs> I just feel that when your birthday come along, you need to do something special. And this is a milestone year. I have turned 35. Yes, 35. And my birthday is September 26th, by the way. So I feel this is a milestone year. We need to do something special. We need to go all on out. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so I'm just excited and I thank God for the opportunity, you know, of the of life and just, you know, I'm excited about what he's going to do and what he will do and he just, you know, keeps on blessing me and I just tell him thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing and I'm just excited. Um you know, I made a vow to always live and love life and laugh and make memories and yeah, so I'm excited. So today I'm going to bring to you my birthday haul and um, it's got a little bit of everything and I have one thing left for the grand finale this time and it's something that you normally don't see in my videos, but I am so, so excited. So let's get going because we got a few things to unravel here. Um, the first thing I want to show off is this dress. I got this from K&G. And there's a story behind this dress for those, I don't know if I put it on Instagram or not, but I did put a post it on Facebook. I got a coupon from K&G and for $10 off a $10 or more purchase. And so I went in there, I saw that dress, and I said, yes, of course I need it. I mean, I can always use another dress for work, church, and all those in between. The dress was marked down for $9.99, and I said, um, with the coupon, you can. It could be sale or clearance or regular price. So I was just saying, I'm prepared to pay the tax because $9.99, of course, is going to be $10 or $11 something and some change. So I said, okay, I'm going to pay the tax or whatever. So I went up to the register. The lady scanned, um, scanned the dress, scanned the coupon, and it ended up, the receipt popped out, 0 0.00. So I did not owe nothing. So I was just in amazement. I had her bag that up. I walked out the store, told her have a nice day, and I got outside and said, Hallelujah, Holy Ghost! Um, because I'm like, that's just like a free dress. Like, literally. I mean, I use coupons, and even with coupons, you have to pay something. Something has to come out your pocket or on your card, and just the fact that that was just 0, 0.0, meaning I owe nothing, but to get the dress in the bag and walk out, I'm like, awesome, great. So this dress is not bad. I got some green shoes. I got different things and some purples. Get some accessories together. And this is a free dress. Hey, love the coupons. So moving on to the next thing. You know, I am a Victoria's Secret girl. I love pink, 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 pink products. And I recently be, um, got the pink card and... Um, I got uh, two coupons. Somehow I ended up with two coupons for my birthday. One got sent to my house, and then one got sent to my parents' house on my behalf. And then I had got a rewards. So I had like $30 worth of coupons and rewards for Victoria's Secret. And Victoria's Secret, you can use all of them. They just, just keep running the coupons as long as you... You know, meeting the expectations, you can use the coupon. So I got a couple of pink products. So I got some um, some fitting yoga pants. Normally I do those jogging style pants, but I just feel like, you know, those just sometimes fit me sloppy and big. And it's just like, you know, I wanted something a little more fitting. So I got these um, pink yoga pants here. And then I went ahead and got me a jogging suit. So it is green and orange, cause fall is approaching. So got me a nice pink hoodie. This is pink and orange. I had to actually order this offline off the website because they did not have my size in the store. I'm a little thick girl. They did not have a large. Um, 
they did not have a large in the store so i had to um order it offline and it didn't take that long she ordered it right at the register it came to my house there was no extra shipping and handling and that worked out and then i have the matching um pants so i like how these pants fit they're not too sloppy and big they're kind of fitted which is cool. So I got a large. I figured I got to do a large because the extra large is just, you know, a little bit too big. And then they knock, um, I had $30 um, dollars off worth. So I got like everything, the whole jogging suit. Normally this would have probably been $90 by itself. And then with the pants, they knocked 30 off. I think altogether, I probably spent about 60 or $70. I think it was 70, but just this alone without any coupons would have been well over a hundred dollars. So to get all three pieces for like 70 bucks, I would say that's a hell of a deal. Coupon Courtney strikes again. So I'm moving on. Um, Let's see. I don't know. We're moving into purses and accessories now. So um, last month, August, I went to New Orleans. Um, our hotel was in the proximity of an outlet mall. And um, we went over there and um, they had a coach store. And they had, I don't think they had a Michael Kors store, but they, they did have a coach store. So here's the bag. I went a little crazy. I went in the Coach Outlet um, store, and everybody keeps freaking texting me. Oh, Lord. They keep texting me. I'll check that out later. It's not really important. But I went in the Coach Outlet store, and they had an amazing, amazing, amazing sale. I mean, people were walking out of there with hella five bags and even though i'm into the uh, louis vuitton and you know i've been highlighting the gucci stuff and the chanel and whatever the name the little luxuries i always figured that coach and michael kors are always those easy go-to bags and we just went around and looking around and i'm like you know i never walk in saying i'm gonna get a bag i just walk in see what they have and i was just oh my god amazed um, so let me show you. I got three items. So the first little thing I got is this um, ID credit card holder. It has um, Coach right here, the Coach label. Then it has one, two slots here. This insides open up for money and coins. And then it has one, two slots back here. Now I thought this would be a good investment, especially when I carry. Um, you know, purses like the um, Eva Clutch, um, my Michael Kors um, mini jet set tote, um, a wristlet, um, these, um, and I have a Dami Azura um, pochette purse like thing. So I figured you could, it would be easy to put cards in here, put money up top, and slide that in, and it won't take up, this is not taking up, you know, much space. So I said, that would be great. Um, I already tried it out um, and it worked. So I figured, you know, this would be good. So, so far, so good. I did put this in my Evil Clutch and carry it. And I still had a ton of space left instead of trying to fit, fit, fit to force a, a, a wallet or a smaller size wallet, um, bigger a wallet bigger than this. This has been working out great. And I think I got this for like about 12 or $15. So yes. The next bag I got was the Celeste Convertible. And this is brown and pink. It's the Signature C's. Um, it's pink trim and handles. It has the Coach tag. Um, and then it has a Coach um, buckle at the bottom here. Signature brown C's. And the inside it is pink, one of my favorite colors. And it has a zipper pocket in here. Um, and then on the other side here, it has um, two um, cell phone pockets here on this side. And this bag was originally worth three something. And they had it on sale that day for 99 bucks. Yes, 395 dollars 
$9. So this was just a situation I could not leave it in the store. I'm just so sorry. That's a hell of a sale to jump from $3.95 to $99. So I'm like, it comes with the extra strap. I'm like, I just can't leave this. And everybody, everybody that was in there that saw this bag said, this is just something you just, because you're not going to see, going to get this sale again. And then the fact that we don't live in New Orleans, that was another, and I just didn't know when the next time I would ever see another coach outlet. Might not be to sometime next year, because I only make it to outlet malls every once a blue moon. So I went ahead and got this, and... I have carried it once already. It's very spacious. And I like the fact that you have this option for here. And then you have this long strap option. So you can do a crossbody. Or if you want to be cute and do it just on your thing. Or this can even fit on your shoulder. And it's quite comfortable because of this is bending and flexing. So that is the Celeste um, Hobo Convertible. Um, $99. That was not bad at all. And I end up getting another bag because I was in the bag. Um, I got this, which is the Coach Margot or Margaret, Margaret bag. One of Margot or Margaret. And this kind of puts me in the mind of the Louis Vuitton um, montage, a monte, montage. Just, I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong, but I've been, that's what I was looking at. I was looking at the Louis Vuitton um, montage and said, I could probably get that for my birthday. And I just saw this bag and it really assembled. I mean, it resembles that bag. I mean, I seen the bag and I watched a lot of YouTube videos and it has the strap, it has the handles. And even in the inside, they have that middle pocket that zips. Um, one side is just a slide in pocket, it doesn't zip at all. And then on the other side here, it's like two cell phone pockets. And then the uh, middle pocket got the signature uh, C's and the leather, whatever that material is, and it zips on the inside so you can put your, you know, wallet, cell phone, all that stuff that you feel that might fall out um, and zip it up. And this um, bag also, um, you know, has a clamp to it, and you can carry it like this, and then it has a strap. So it just put me in mind of the Louis Vuitton um, Munchenich bag. And I was like, yeah, um, if I get this, there will be no need to get that Louis Vuitton Montanage bag. Um, so this purse was, I want to say, it was cheap. Actually cost more than this bag. I think I think this one might be like $110 or whatnot. $110 or $120 or $130, something like that. But I know by the time they added up all three of these items... Plus tax, it came out to be $275. That's the price of maybe one coach bag. And I was able to get all three items for that $275 because they did have like an extra percentage off. Um, so, yes, um, these bags will get carried. They're neutral fall colors, um, very spacious. I have already carried them at least once. Um, I just couldn't help it. It was just too long to wait. Um, from August, what, I got back to Chicago August 17th, and my birthday not to September 26th, so I did carry these once. I am currently using um, this here and there. So that was my um, purchase from Coach. Okay. I'm going to put this back up so I'm going to make a mess. Um, next thing I did um, get, this was also, like, I got this back in July um, I got a Chanel jumbo flap. Now this came from a seller um, on Instagram named Flash for Less. So it's F A S H number four less. So it's Flash for Less or F A S S for Less. But anyway, um, she owns a boutique in the Louisiana area. And um, I saw this Chanel bag, and I'm, you know, I want to say I'm a huge Chanel, fa um, Chanel fan, but I do feel like I might need to start investing in some, you know, classier bags to go to weddings and um, 
Thankless and After Five and Galas and stuff. So I got this bag and it's pretty sturdy. It's the silver. Um, it's a back pocket back here. Um, like I said, I'm not real. I'm going to be honest, I'm not well versed on Chanel. So, um, you know, it's the silver. It clamps and this is how the inside look. Um, there is a pocket right here that zips. And then there's another pocket there, and that's the inside. Like I said, it's just, you know, me trying it out to see if I like this and maybe I can branch out and get more, um, you know, quality. Not saying this is not quality because it's pretty st or sturdy. I did stuff it already. Uh, I wore it to a wedding I went to uh, a few weeks ago um, just because I didn't have a dress-up purse. So I had, like I said, I had it since July. I decided... To get it as an extremely early birthday present um so yeah it's so far it's it's doing what it do i carry to church i have uh, took it to a wedding um just more formal stuff i don't foresee myself like just being out on the street and carrying this unless i was dressy or doing something i mean maybe if i want to get a little funky with the outfits or something i might carry it but i just really think this is really designated for more formal like attire or dressy or like type I'm almost done. Next is my Michael Kors signature wallet. Um, I've been eyeballing, uh, eyeballing this for quite a while. Uh, I got this from Marshalls for um, about 60 bucks. I was shocked because this wallet is normally $138 via Michael Kors, but that's the good thing about um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Ross. They have these quality items for lower prices because this wallet and I been searching on eBay people still try and sell it for over $100 been in car since it's $138 you damn near yeah you go to Macy's it's going to be high too so off the hat is for $65 was great um there is eight credit card slots in the wallet yeah I'm using this I couldn't wait uh eight credit card slots four on each side um, they have um, a zipper pocket in the middle where I try to put my coins and stuff. Um, that zips. Um, and then they have these sides. So here we can do receipts. And then it slits back here. That's why I put the cash back and just some other additional cards. So I like it so far. I was in between getting this one and the light color one because I had a light color purse that would match um, if I got this in a light color. But I'm just saying, no, it's going to be fall. So let me get the dark one because the dark colors go all year long, okay? Almost done here. I got one last item and then I have an announcement. So we're moving on. So I could not help myself. Um, I made an order, not from Cindy this time. Shocker. I got something from Bevan. I had my, like I said, when I showed off the coach bags, I wanted a coach um, Montanage, Montaigne, the Montaigne, Montaigne, I was, like I said, I apologize if I got it wrong. So I thought about that, but since I got the coach, I was like, oh, no, thank you. Mm -mm. That's, that's too similar. This no. So what I went ahead, I got something, I saw a bag on, on Bevin's website, um, that I've been eyeing for the longest. And this was my, you know, alternative to, um, the montage because this is some bag I've been probably looking at for almost about a year now. So it's still semi bagged up and boxed up. So this is like a fake semi unboxing. So it is ta -da! the LB Polaris. Is it Polaris? Palas Palas. The LB Palas. Um, and I want to say this color is Aurora. So it's like a maroon, purplish. Um, this is from Bevan, and it has like slit pockets. It has pockets here, and then it has pockets there, and then it zips up top here. And I got stuff still in it. It comes with, I'm not going to just take all this stuff out, but it does come with the strap. And you can carry this by hand.
wrist like this. Or you can carry it on the strap. So I am looking forward to this. This is, to me, it's just a real classy lady bag. Very elegant. Um, it's not like your everyday speedies or, um, yeah. So I just think it's a real classy lady bag. I know some people might deem it as an older lady bag. and But sometimes you just need some more elegant pieces. You know, everything can't be class um, casual. But I definitely look forward to carrying this and this is I have actually held out on carrying this one for my birthday so I could be fresh so I didn't unlike the other stuff I might have dabbled with some of those other bags already before my birthday this is what I was actually waiting to carry so I will be rocking this to my birthday weekend um anything else on the inside okay yeah the tag it says the Louis Vuitton Paris there that's two phone holders there on the other side is and this is inside the zipper part that's a little and this is like the velvet material i still got paper in it but i'm getting ready to take all that stuff out and i'm gonna get ready to rock this bad boy and carry it um but that's it for the items but my grand finale is drum roll please I'm going to Vegas. Yay! I am going to Vegas mid-October um, with my friends. I mentioned it in an old video that should I get a bag? Should I go to Vegas? Well, I pull it off to do both. I'm just, you know, going to work hard and make up for everything. But we going to Vegas. It's actually going to be one of my um, actual homegirl's birthday when we're in Vegas. But it's going to be her actual birthday celebration. But like a post birthday for me. Um, so we'll be gone going to Vegas doing Sweetest Day weekend. Why the hell we picked that weekend as a girl's trip? That's the second time that's happened to me. I did a spa trip actually a few years ago doing damn Sweetest Day. And who was there at the resort? Of course, couples. And there were weddings. And um, as we was talking to the travel agent, you know, the prices actually were up that weekend. And as the lady was saying, um, the travel agent was saying, well, you know, that's um, Vegas on the Sweetest Day weekend. And she said, as shocking, a lot of couples do get married during Sweetest Day weekend in Vegas. So, but I'm excited. I'm going to get to see some of my homegirls I haven't saw in a while. Um, it's always nice to get away from the hustle and the bustle of your everyday routine. Um, like I said, I wanted to make memories in which that means I just want to see the world more. I'm really like on this travel kick. September is actually the first month I have not traveled or went anywhere, uh, which is crazy. I started, I had went to a, a quick road trip in May. I went to Texas in June. I went to St. Louis in July. I went to New Orleans in August. I didn't book no road trips or trips at all in September. And in October, I'm going to Vegas. I don't know, maybe we'll take a break for November and December, but I'm looking to start back and go on that ski trip in the new year that I normally go on. So I've been in Chicago all my life and I grew up and I was raised here and I only lived away from here, live away from here to go to college. And at one summer I did an internship. So I stayed in um, a part of Missouri for one summer, but I live here. I know Chicago. So why not go see the rest of the world? Why not travel i mean i'm still single um and yeah i don't have kids so why not take advantage of traveling until that time comes and even if i do when i do get married do have kids i hope we can travel as a family so i don't know i mean this this guy trying to creep back in my life i don't know where that's gonna go or you know am i not gonna attempt to try it again i don't know but um until now, I'm just going to enjoy life and just be happy. So I hope you enjoyed my haul. Damn, I didn't think it was going to be this long, but you stuck around with me to then. I thank you. And always, always stay tuned for more videos. Peace.